Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I thought I'd do another plug-in focus, free plug-in focus. This is Camel Crusher from Camel Audio, and it's a distortion filter compressor. It also has a thing called Fat Mode, and uh, it's really quite nice, and you can use it in Mix Mode as well, so you can mix the two together, take the original and the processed. And it's just really great for just beefing stuff up. So I've got four instruments, a bass, a synth, some drums, and a guitar sample. Just thought I'd throw them all together, just put them down, and then show you the kind of thing this can do. But it's really good for mashing stuff up, really. So let me show you on this bass guitar, this bass synth first, which I'm using vacuum. It's kind of Juno 106 bass sound. Now what you need to make sure is that master switched on before you try and audition anything on it because it won't work otherwise. So, so there's our mix and then there's our clean. So let's turn them on one by one. Let's start the distortion. Let's bring them back down. So you've got a tube and a mechanical. Straight away you can hear it really does beef it up. So if nothing else it puts just puts some real balls to it. So if you want to add some balls to something without messing with it too much, then there's a mechanical. That starts to put some real kind of flap in it. There's the original. We can, of course, mix the two together. Then one of the nice features is this filter where you've got to cut off and res. So you can really start to change the whole sound of it. Then there's compressor. This fat mode. Now, because it's crushing it as well, it sort of acts like a brick wall limiter too. So when you start to really push everything in, you see it's slamming there and not going any further. Some great patches, then there's the randomize feature, which means if you whack that, of course, it will give you diff different random versions. So that's on a bass, bass synth. Uh, let me put it on, so I'll show you on, the, on a, a, a drums now. Here's the original. And as you can hear on the drums, it really does make some difference. And I've only just got a touch of it in, really. There's the original. You can really. If you really want to go for break, you can hear that really does make a serious amount of stuff to it. And then again, a filter on it. So in filter mode, especially on rhythmic sounds, you can hear that uh, that that rim sort of snare sound is really. change the character of it. Here's original again. Pretty pedestrian, pretty crappy. Let's put that on the bass together now. There's original. Here's the new one. That's really got balls now. That's got balls that are bigger than a horse. Uh, then onto synth. Let me show you the synth now. So I've got a synth part in here, just playing a kind of art part. There's the original. And I'm using the filter just to really. Mash it up and give it some, I'm not using the distortion this time, just the compressor. There's the original. And I love the way you can mix them. Because there's the new one, it's just a bit too intense for me. But just add some interest in the middle there. Uh, then I got like a funky Prince guitar sound, so it's just a sample from a sample library. Uh, 
There's the original. Some real balls in there. That's a good filter it. Just want to give it some energy with that too much distortion then. Just keep the distortions off. Use the compressor instead. tube in there, some body in there, I'll move that down to there, I can switch them all on and off at the same time, here's the original. And the new one. Particularly like it on the drums. And remember as well, because it's working as a compressor and, uh, and a, a saturation unit, that the more you push into it, the more it's going to saturate. So if you notice there, when I turn boom up, rather than turning the volume of the, the drums up, I play it again. Most of what it's doing is saturating it rather than turning the volume up. If I bypass it again. So the volume controls on your instruments can actually help to determine how it's going to work. So there we go. That is Camel Crusher from the guys over at Camel Audio, free of charge. Go and download it from our site. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.